a very large solar storm is approaching Earth. This storm could have highly destructive effects on humans and the Earth indirectly. Power and internet outages for several months or even years, rising Earth temperatures, melting polar ice caps resulting in a rise in global sea levels, tsunamis hundreds of meters or even thousands of meters high. And consequently, the extinction of the human race could be the effects of these devastating storms. But don't worry, these were events that were supposed to happen in 2012. So a movie was made about it, causing a lot of fear among people. Fortunately, this solar storm passed by Earth in 2013 without any incident. But what if a supersolar flare collided with Earth? Is it really possible for the human race to become extinct in the event of such an occurrence? When might another solar storm collide with Earth? And is 2025 the year we could face a global power and internet outage? And most importantly, why and how does a solar storm occur? In this video, we aim to provide comprehensive answers to all of these questions and dispel doubts and suspicions about the year 2025 once and for all. So stay tuned until the end of the video. And please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Like the video to support us and share it with your friends. The Sun, the largest celestial body in the solar system, is a gas giant with a mass equivalent to 2 10 30 kilograms. It produces energy equivalent to 3.84 10 26 watts per second and converts 4.26 million tons of hydrogen into helium through nuclear fusion processes every second. This gas giant formed from plasma creates a strong magnetic field due to the movement of the plasma on its surface consequently generating a significant amount of energy. However, most of the time, this energy doesn't discharge as easily and accumulates at a point, suddenly discharging. It's similar to the faults on Earth where energy accumulates at a point and, upon sudden release, causes an earthquake. But on the surface of the Sun, when this energy is released, solar flares occur. An interesting point about solar flares is that some of them can reach heights up to 20 times the size of Earth and eject particles at speeds of 8 million kilometers per hour. However, these flares sometimes precisely target the Earth and are propelled towards our planet. Fortunately, the Earth has a strong magnetic field that can protect it from these particles and redirect them towards the Earth's poles, where in most cases, beautiful polar auroras are formed. But sometimes these flares turn into super flares that even the strong magnetic field of the Earth cannot withstand. But what happens if one of these flares collides with Earth? To answer this question, let's take a time travel trip back to the year 1859. The first time a solar storm that hit Earth was recorded by scientists at that time. Fortunately, at that time, unlike today, electricity was not used in the modern way and people used lanterns to illuminate their homes and natural refrigerators to preserve their food. But one of the things that suffered significant damage was the telegraphs, and it was reported that they were completely disrupted for several days. The auroras, which were only visible at the poles, illuminated the entire sky of the Earth that year, and it has even been reported that Mexico, a country close to the equator, also witnessed these auroras. In other words, people witnessed a beautiful sky up to the equator. But the next solar storm that was recorded occurred in 1989 in the province of Quebec, Canada, and caused the transformers responsible for converting high pressure electricity into usable city electricity to melt, resulting in significant damage to Canada leaving the entire state without power for up to nine hours. The next solar storm that hit Earth was slightly more destructive. This storm managed to disable all GPS satellites worldwide for 10 minutes. 
You might think that 10 minutes is nothing, but GPS is crucial for the navigation systems of airplanes. And during those 10 minutes, no aircraft knew where it was or where it was going. And it could potentially cause significant damage to the global transportation system. However, scientists who monitor solar activity have recently discovered that solar activity has peaked and one of the largest solar storms is expected to move towards Earth. On the internet, especially on YouTube, numerous videos have been made about the prediction of a large solar storm in 2025. They claim that a solar storm is expected to hit Earth in July 2025, cutting off electricity and internet worldwide for months. But based on the latest research I have conducted, no credible source has mentioned anything about this event occurring. It appears to be just a rumor aimed at scaring people, and so far, nobody knows the motive behind spreading such information or why it has leaked out. However, I must add that even I don't know whether this event will actually happen or not. I have gathered this information from credible sources available on the internet and am relaying it to you. But the terrifying point of this story is that according to the latest news, experts believe that the peak of the cycle is likely to occur in mid to late 2024, not in mid 2025. One thing that was very interesting to me was that many expressed concern in the comments section that GTA 6 was supposed to be released in early 2025. And if this event were to occur, we wouldn't be able to experience the game causing a lot of distress. However, the repercussions of this event are much broader than just not being able to play GTA 6 and could potentially push the human race to the brink of extinction. As we mentioned, in the event of a collision with a large solar storm, it's possible that electricity and internet worldwide would be cut off now, you might wonder how this event is related to the extinction of the human race. The global internet shutdown would adversely affect the world economy by billions of dollars, and the world economy as a whole would be paralyzed. But perhaps most terrifyingly, the electricity outage is the most alarming because with the power cut off, all refrigerators, sewage systems, water supply systems, all hospitals, etc., would cease to function. And the first thing threatening the human race would be food scarcity. Because with the power outage, all refrigerators stop working and foods begin to spoil, becoming severely inaccessible to people. Consequently, chaos ensues worldwide and people resort to killing each other to obtain food. But I must emphasize that this is only a warning from scientists and me, and there is no certainty whether this event will happen or not. One of the proposed ways by scientists to deal with this event is to shut down the entire world's electricity before the occurrence of this storm to minimize the damage significantly. Scientists estimate that if this event occurs, it will take between four to 10 years for the world's electricity to return to its original state, and our world will no longer be the same as before. What do you think about people's ability to cope with such an event? And does playing or not playing GTA 6 matter at all against the potential damages of this event? Please share your thoughts in the comments section. By the way, if you're interested in learning more about the asteroid that is expected to collide with Earth in 2029, watch the video that appears on the left side of the screen.